Hey everyone, Shane here with eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at the under deck mount ladder by Jeff Marine. This is going to be mounted on the front or the back of the, the pontoon. It's going to mount to the underside. It's going to be an all aluminum ladder, so we don't have to worry about rust and corrosion. It's going to give us four steps, again, 48 inches long, so we have plenty of rungs to get us down in the water. If you notice here on our tune, on a pontoon, the front of it sits up higher than the back. Well, this is our water line. We're not quite down all the way with our ladder, but we're almost to the third rung. So once we're off the trailer, this ladder is going to sit a little bit flatter and we'll be about three rungs in the water. So we got plenty that we're not having to lift our leg up to get to that first rung to get up inside the boat. I think adding a ladder like this to the front of your pontoon or tritune is a great addition. Pontoons and tritunes don't typically come with a ladder on the front. You always have to go around the back to get on. Adding this on the front, you can get on the front or the back. Uh, again, makes a nice addition. Another thing uh, I would suggest, because this ladder does not lock into place, and it could potentially slide out if you have to stop real quick on the water. A snap pin, drill a hole in the side, that'll hold your ladder in place. You don't have to worry about that anymore. You can find these along with tethers here at eTrailer. With that being said, our ladder is not going to be able to slide all the way out. It actually, this rod here, catches on two stops on each side or a stop on each side. So we don't have to worry about losing our ladder. Now the ladder is going to have a 300 pound weight capacity. As far as how wide each step is, you're looking at 11 and a half inches from side to side and then front to back. The step is going to be an inch and a half. The tread on top, if you'll notice, gives you a little bit of grip when your feet are wet, is an inch. The measurement between the top of each step is going to be right at 11 and 3 quarters. As far as how it mounts, it's going to come with the mounting hardware, bolts, lock washers, and nylon lock nuts. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's walk you through how we installed it. To start your installation, you determine where you're going to mount your ladder. We're going to be mounting on the front of the boat in between our center and port side tune. We're going to be mounting the ladder straight to these cross members, so we need to measure in between the cross members so that we can mark it on our ladder and drill the correct holes. On the ladder, you're going to have tabs. This is going to be the side that mounts to the bottom of the pontoon boat. This is going to be the side that faces the front or is out towards the front. You can see how I have it marked. We're going to drill these out to 5 sixteenths. I'm going to start with a small bit for a pilot hole. Now before we clamp our ladder up to the uh, underside of the pontoon, we're going to take one more step. Now if we didn't have this on, this ladder doesn't lock in here. So. If you're on the boat and you have to stop real quick, this ladder is going to slide out. To keep it from doing that, you got a couple options. You can put a strap around here, or you can get a snap pin with a tether on it, which is what we're going to use. We're going to drill a small hole here and then through the actual ladder, and then we'll take a self-tapper and attach the tether to it and then to the, to the uh, snap ring. And we'll be able to use this to lock the ladder in place while we're traveling. So what I did is I took the ladder, pushed it all the way back, pulled it all the way up, and then you can run string around, anything that's going to hold this up tight. Now we're going to drill a hole through the side and then through the ladder here. Now since we're installing this out of the water on the trailer, we did have to move the trailer ladder. It's usually just attached by two or three U-bolts. Remove those, you can set your ladder off to the side because your ladder that we're mounting has to be extended out in order to drill the holes. Now, we hung it up by clamping it to the cross members. Once you get your holes drilled, you're gonna take the bolts that come in your kit, you're gonna put them in place, and we're gonna put on a lock washer and a nylon lock nut. For our very back holes, you'll notice this panel here. There's no way for me to take the hardware out, 
put the bolt that comes in it, put the nut on top, and then put that panel back in. So what I'm going to use is I'm going to use some large cell tappers. Once you have all your hardware installed, reinstall your ladder for your trailer if you took it off, and you're ready to go. It's going to do it for a look at the underbed mount ladder by Jeff Marine.